and welcome to Junk Journal Inspirations. My name is Emily. I am here today with a very special um, collaboration with Victoria Designs, and I'm sure that you've heard um, that name before. She has, um, they have a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop and um, all kinds of, you know, fun freebies that you can get if you sign up for their email list. I will put all of the links um, that you need for all of the information I'm going to share with you um, in the description box below. So please go and check that out after you watch the video. And um, this project pack launches today and um, there is quite a discount um, applied for the first few days after the launch. So if you're interested, go check it out um, quickly before that discount uh, goes away. Um, and you can also get, I'll show you, there is a freebie page of embellishments that go along with this project pack. Um, and it has its own uh, link. So that'll be in the description box. And um, I wanted to kind of go over what you get in the project pack, show you all of the pages before I cut anything out. And then I will um, stop this, go cut everything out, and we'll do a fun little project using some of the pieces um, with this project pack. And then um, it will be, I will complete it as a finished journal um, in the near future. So this um, project pack that launches today, um, is called My Botanical Field Junk Journal Project Pack, and it is just right up my alley. Um, I love everything about this. It is just very full of nature and, um, you know, just like these collage pages, and it's just beautiful. Um, and what you get in the project pack is 24 journal pages, and I have printed them um, just the way that they printed on my printer. So I have, um, I think 14 of the pages I printed as the fronts, and then I used the other pages, um, on the back and I, I duplicated a couple cause there weren't quite enough. I had 14, um, front pages. And so I was left with 10 backs and I just kind of, you know, finagled that around. So I have them all printed and I'll show you quickly the pages. And then there's a lined page here. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me set these aside. I love this page. There's just enough color with all of the lovely, you know, just vintage colors as well. And that has that same lined page on the back. And then you've got some gray tones and th there's just so many things. I love the little safety pin graphic. Just so many things that you could do with this. Um, even if you didn't want to make a full journal, this is like a, a nice bullet journal page. And I, I just, yeah, it's just very Victorian and, um, you know, just enough grungy and torn pages. There's, I think these were the only two that I duplicated on the backs. All right, and then this page. Love this little guy down here. Looks like a flying squirrel. My niece has a flying squirrel. I think this is really pretty for a background. I'm sorry about the lighting today. Um, it has decided, you know, middle of May to get really cold and it's storming today. So my lighting is <laughs> less than perfect. So I hope you're all having a good day. I love this kind of um, gray beigey tones. I think that's really pretty. Oh, I did. Okay. These were, I had three of the lined. I thought it would be best to have more lined and, you know, kind of the bullet journal pages than, than others. I love this. So pretty. This is just very subtle, but there is a really pretty um, floral border on this gray tone page. It doesn't, the camera isn't doing that justice. I apologize. Pretty with you know, you've got the moths and the butterflies, and I love this page too. 
with the flowers. The little, I think they're either daisies or black-eyed Susans without the color. I love all the little just bits and pieces. So you've already got all this layering, which is fabulous. So you can, you don't have to add so much to your pages. Um, and then your journal isn't as bulky, but you still have all of the interest and all of the, the lovely, you know, bits and pieces without having to add all the bulk. Very nice. This little centipede down here. <laughs> Very cool. Nice grungy page on the back, but it's got like a little lace on the edges. All right, almost done with the journal pages. So 24 to work with. This is the last one. Isn't that gorgeous? Just so pretty. And then these are um, eight just papers. So you could use these any way that you want. They are vertical orientation. Um, you could do, you could, if your printer does this, you could set it up to print two to a page. Um, and then you would have more, you know, horizontal pages. But I just printed them out the way that they printed onto just um, my nice premium HP paper. And then I backed them. Um, this is actually the eighth of the papers, but I just used it as a background because it was, you know, that's what it is. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but they are gorgeous. So I printed them out. Look at this. Isn't that fun? That would be great to just kind of tear pieces for collage. So really pretty. Maybe we'll make some pockets or some tags or I'm not sure yet, but I just, they're so pretty. Could just even fold them up as extra writing space in a journal. I love this one with the purple and those adorable shoes. Again, you could fussy cut out these pieces. So that is the, the eight papers. And then you have um, six pages of embellishments that come with the project pack. So here those are, and they're super layered up too. And then I just, again, use that page as my backside. And then look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I just love this little guy. <laughs> this one. Just so many fun little pieces to play with. Just lovely. All right, and that is the last of the embellishment pages. And then the freebie embellishment page, um, like I said, that is a separate link and it's in the description box, but this is what you get for that with that freebie. So if nothing else, go grab the freebie for yourself because you get this adorable little guy. I mean, come on. <laughs> and all these other lovely images. And again, I just, I printed that on the back side. So that is what you get in the um, Botanical Field Junk Journal Project Pack that is launching today. So I will be right back after I cut everything out and we can do um, a little, you know, playing around. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, so I have everything cut out and I have chosen um, some bits that I want to use um, for just this small little, little tutorial here or process video, however you wanna look at it. Um, what I decided was, um, first of all, I took these three little, um, like, oh, I don't know what you want to call them. They're tags, but they're also um, sort of like a banner shape. I don't know if you can see, but they have a really pretty um, flower design at the bottom, but it's just very faint, um, you know, and, and kind of subdued. 
And what I thought was I might turn this into a little um, tag thing. <laughs> so I have plans for that. Then I also have this piece from the kit and it just kind of lends itself to making a little notebook. So I've pulled out um, some papers to insert into the notebook. I have a piece of vellum and we're going to do something with that here in a second. And then I just have some other, um, some tea dyed paper and then some antique ledger off cuts. And then this piece of um, old wax paper. And I just kind of tucked that in here and just thought it could kind of be, um, you know, I don't know, just something interesting. Um, not just all paper. All right, so I have that. And then um, what I wanna do with the vellum before we put our little notebook together is I thought we would stamp on it. Um, and then I have a piece of um, file folder, or yeah, file folder. Um, it's a really pretty green color, kind of goes with everything. That's gonna be the back of my notebook but we're actually gonna decorate that before we put everything together. So um, first things first, let's go ahead. I'm gonna save this. We'll do that in a minute. All right, and then that goes with that. Let's go ahead and stamp our little piece of vellum. I have this adorable rubber stamp from Hobby Lobby. Look how cute that little guy is climbing on that. Look at him. He's adorable. Um, I'm trying to, oh, okay. It's, here's the name of it. It is by Stampendous and it is called Willow Climb. So if you're looking for it, I got it at Hobby Lobby, but it might be available other places. But I just thought, I think it would be adorable just sort of stamped onto this piece of vellum. So I'm going to use my um, archival ink in coffee to stamp him and I'm gonna hope that I don't mess it up or I'll have to go get some more vellum. This was just, um, I literally pulled pieces out of my scrap bin um, for the pages of this little notebook that we're gonna make. And then when I put the whole journal together, I'll have this nice little notebook that I can tuck inside and let me make sure I don't have extra ink like up here and maybe over here. Okay, I think we should be good. And fingers crossed that that worked. All right, it's faint, but it's that's okay. I'm not not worried about that. I wanted it to kind of be, um, kind of be like that anyway. So that's fine. Let me set that aside. So here's what it looks like. I think it turned out perfect. So let me grab um, something. There we go. Super cute. I am in love with that little guy. All right. So that will be part of our notebook, but I'm gonna just let that sit to dry for a minute. And then we'll go ahead and decorate our little piece, um, our back piece for our notebook. So I have one of these guys cut out, this adorable little guy. I think he's a flying squirrel. I just love him. I have some tea dyed uh, cheesecloth here, and then some of the other pieces from the kit. Uh, these little doodads, whoops, and then this little piece of, uh, like, looks like old tape, but it's actually part of the, the printing, the printable. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do is kind of lay down um, some of this Tim Holtz collage paper. This is the Entomology. I think this is a newer... Um, Sorry, I hadn't opened it yet. I think this is a newer pattern in this collage paper. 
Um, but I thought it might look nice. Just get a piece of it and um, not even a whole piece really. Let me see what we got here. It's very pretty, isn't it? I think I will cut, let me get my, my super duper Tim Holt scissors. And I'm just gonna cut a piece off here. To make this a little easier. I don't know what I did with the lid. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, and I will link to all the products that I use in the description box as well. So you can find that if you're interested. Um, I am gonna try, I don't know how well this works with the tear ruler, but let's try it. Oh, it works very well actually, okay. And I think I just want, I'm trying to decide how much of this I want. I want this guy. So I think we'll all right. No, where did I do? Oh <laughs> telling you. All right, so if we just put this over on this side like this. And I'm gonna try and just tear myself. That I was looking for. Let me take off a little bit off the top here. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. I think that is awesome. And I am going to use um, some of the Distress Collage Medium. This is the vintage. I haven't used this yet. And I also got a set of Distress Collage brushes. So let's give this a try. It looks like, um, oh, what does that look like? Sort of like caramel. <laughs> There's some dry bits on the outside here. Okay, so I probably have enough in the lid. Um, to do what I want to do. And I'm not going to worry if I get it on the if I get it on my glass mat, I'll just clean it. So let's go ahead and just put some down here. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't used this yet. So it's nice and thin. I like the consistency of it. All right, let's see what happens. more over here. And because of the vintage color of it, it'll t it'll tone down um, the white of that collage paper. That's my hope anyway. And I'm just gonna brush out the extra over on the, you know, so that it'll just kind of blend in with the, the background. Well, I really like that collage medium. That is, that is pretty awesome. Highly, highly recommend that. Okay, let me set that aside to dry a minute. And um, I'm gonna clean off my desk here and then I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and um, just dried that with my, my embossing um, heat gun, just so I could keep working without having to wait for that to dry. It dried really fast with the, um, uh, the heat, so. All right, so then I thought, um, I'm going to put some cheesecloth here 
and I'll, I'll trim up around the edges. And then um, I just thought I would do a little bit of sort of layering here um, with our little kit pieces. So just decide how I want to do this here. Oh my gosh, I just love this little guy. My niece has a flying squirrel and um, it's adorable. It's, it's very, it's very timid though. So um, we don't really get to handle it much, but my niece can. So that's all that's important. All right. Now these other pieces, I'm not sure. Um, I may not use the little tape piece. I may do some, use some of this on the front actually of the notebook. So, um, maybe we'll tuck these little guys. Um, here. Yeah, I think that's adorable. All right. First thing, let's, um, I just, when I glue onto cheesecloth, um, I just use Fabri-Tac or one of the variations. And I just put enough on the piece that I'm gluing on top that it will kind of then um, seep through the holes in the cheesecloth and then it'll adhere everything at once. Just gonna hold that for just a second make sure it actually is holding that um, cheesecloth and then I might actually be able to stretch this out a bit oops let's see how do we want this just like that I think and I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this off because That's just too much. All right. I want, I'm just trying to pull some of this over. Um, and then I will glue down my little guy. So I think nature field note kind of themed journals are are my favorite to create or botanicals and just things like that let me know in the comments what your favorite journal theme is if you have one I like to do other things too um I kind of like I kind of like everything um <laughs> so I enjoy all themes um really but if I had to pick a favorite I would say this this sort of um, nature nature theme is is my favorite. Get some of this extra glue. All right, I'll hold this little guy. Sorry if you can hear that. It is just like a torrential downpour outside. Like it's really windy, and there are just it's just like a sheet of rain. Oh. That's lovely. <laughs> All right, then we can we can just tuck these little these little guys over here on the side, and it'll just be a little a little fun surprise in the back of this notebook. Okay, 
Do you want this one there? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, that is adorable. Let me get some of this out of the way. Make sure that guy is sticking. All right, so that will be the back. Let's make the back cover um, of our little notebook. The back cover, but the inside of the back cover, if that makes sense. All right, so let's let that dry. Um, and then I think what we'll do is go ahead and put this together. So what I have here are, this is a little button piece um, from the kit. And I added, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I just colored the inside of it with a gold Wink of Stella pen. And so it's just a little bit shimmery on the inside there. And then I used hickory smoke distress ink on the outside because it was kind of a gray. And what we're gonna do, this is not my idea. Um, my friend Nikki came up with this and it is fabulous for making um, your own pretty brads. So what I have here is just a regular small gold um, brad, right? Just your run of the mill gold brad. I have the piece that I cut from the kit and then I cut another half inch circle just out of some of the off cuts. Um, and what you do, you're not really going to see this part, but I inked it up and it's a pretty color. So, but you really, it really doesn't matter. Um, I poked a hole with my pokey tool in the center, as much in the center as I was able to get it. Um, and then you put your brad through um, that piece, okay? So this is what you have now, right? There's your little legs of your brad. And then we're going to glue this piece on to the top here Oops, of our brad. So what I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm going to use the art glitter glue for this. Let me get all the goopy stuff off the top. And I'm just going to make sure that I have, oops. Well, first I need to make sure that this will, there we go. I'm um, just adding a lot of glue. Okay. And I'm going to kind of spread it out um, to the edges here, like this. Okay. And then we're going to add our decorative piece on the top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit that down on my desk. I don't want to press um, the, the part that's going to show, I want to keep that flat on my desk and then I'm pressing that paper that's, that the brad is through. I'm just pressing that down gently onto the back of our um, piece from the kit. So let me show you what I have so far. So that paper on the back has to go over our brad, right? So it's going to get a little bit wrinkly and crinkly. That's why you press down um, from the back side and not the front side. That way your front piece stays nice and flat and the wrinkles are all on the back where no one will see them. All right. Just make sure that that's secure and then I'll show you what I mean. So can you tell that's, that's still pretty much flat on the top, right? 
it didn't really do anything. But then on the bottom, it's just sort of pushed around gently because you don't want to tear the paper, but just gently pushed around where the brad is sticking out. Um, these are great for like windy guys. That's what Nikki calls them. Um, when you're like doing a, you know, an envelope and you want to make a closure, um, these are great because it gives you that space that you need to wind around um, without having to um, like use a, um, oh, what are they called? Eyelet. You know how you can just smash an eyelet, um, which works too, but this is just then you can use decorative paper to make your own pretty brads. So that's that's what we have here. I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and we'll head over here to our, our little um, tags from the kit. And I'm gonna stack them up the way that I want them. Two of them are um, the same size, but I just want to uh, sort of, I, I didn't cut them out the same, you know, because I'm not really great at fussy cutting. Um, and then I'm going to put the small one on top here. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, eyeball where I want them to end up. And then I'm going to use my pokey tool, just an awl. Um, if you have a, a sharp needle, that works. And I just want to poke through all of these and I just need to get under it here. I want to poke the hole for my brad basically. Okay, there we go. So we have a hole there and it goes all the way through all three pieces. And then I am going to put the brad through there, like so. Okay, see they got the legs back there. And then I have a piece of just um, crochet lace and that is gonna go before I put the legs of the brad down, I am going to put them through this piece of lace. Can you see that? Oh, let's see, let me get a better view. There we go. So the lace, I'm using the legs of the brad to hold the lace on the back there. So then I can close down the legs of the brad and it'll hold that lace right where we want it to stay. Now it's a little bit long, so I'm gonna trim it down. I think my scissors got glue on them. There we go. And I'm okay with it being um, not the same. That doesn't bother me at all. So now we have um, a little thing and you can open it up and you can do some like secret journaling in there um, or whatever and then it just folds back up like this. Now um, I want to attach this to the front cover of, of my notebook. So um, what I'm gonna do is, hmm, let's see, I'm not entirely sure at what point I should do this. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do it now. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to use the brad to attach this. I need an idea of where. So I think right sort of under <laughs> I can't get under it. There we go. Oops. All right, and 
then I can just use that brad and attach that right to the cover of our little notebook. And you know, it's, you can still flip these, do whatever you'd like. Um, I sort of probably should have let that dry a little longer, but that's okay. There, so there it is. That will be the cover. And then maybe we can sort of um, just decorate this up a little bit. Let's see. Or maybe our little buggy guy can go right there. Mm, isn't that nice? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's use this instead. <laughs> My art glitter glue seems to have sprung a leak, so we'll use the Barely Art glue here. He fits on there just perfectly. And then I think this butterfly down here, maybe. I like the piece of um, faux tape down here too. Just sort of on the corner. And then just like that. All right, now we just have to attach everything together. So I have these really pretty, um, like rose goldy, coppery staples, but for some reason they don't fit in any of my um, staplers. So um, what we're gonna do? I have um, I've pulled two of them out separate. Okay. And what I need to do, this is going to be um, slightly interesting because I, I have this in the way, but I think it'll be all right. What I'm going to do is mark with a pencil um, where I want these to go and how far apart um, the little legs are. I'm hoping a pencil will show through here. And I think that'll work. So I'm just gonna put little marks. There we go. And then, so that'll be the one on the right. And I'm gonna actually use the ones that I'm gonna use because I don't want, um, I don't wanna, you know, accidentally mark incorrectly. All right, and then we're gonna stack everything up nice and neat, maybe. <laughs> Let's make sure everything's there. And then we've got our piece of vellum on the front with our adorable little guy and this goes on the top to make sure everything fits inside there okay 
eight. There we go. And then this piece on the back. Oops. Come on here. All right. We're getting there. All right, so let's do this one at a time. So I have my little pencil marks. Just make sure everybody, everything stayed. Don't want to do this and then realize that <laughs> I missed something when I poked my holes. All right. All right, so we'll use our pokey tool again, and I'm gonna do this one at a time, one staple at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and poke through everything, hopefully. There we go. And then our staple should fit through there. Hopefully. That's the idea anyway. Might take a little bit of, there we go. All right, so there's the front view. Do you see that staple there? And now this is what we have in the back like this. So then we can turn it over and um, let's use this guy. Uh, this is actually for designed for um, brads, but I think it will push them down fairly well. There we go. So there is our staple. And then we can go over to this side and poke our holes again. Sorry, apparently this requires lots of con concentration. All right, and then we can just slip our staple in there. Like, like so. I like the, the rose gold staples. I think they're, they're super pretty. All right, it's gonna be a little difficult because I've got that brad in my way on this side so i'm gonna have to do this by hand they they bend pretty easily so um and then what you can do is take just a pair of um, pliers and you can just flatten that down even better like that all right so that is it we are done. I am in love with this. So we have our little swirly uh, secret journaling spot tag here attached to the cover, right? And we did a little bit of layering down here and this, you know, you can slide this out of the way to see the whole image. And then we have our little notebook. We've got our little guy inside there. He's so cute. And then we have our all of our little papers, right? And then when you flip to the back, you've got this adorable little guy here. <laughs> Very cute. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that inspired you today to, um, you know, make something different out of, um, 
out of kit pieces. I think sometimes we look at kit pieces and we think, well, that was designed to be, or it's supposed to be something. And, you know, it can be anything. So, you know, just use your imagination and, and think, think of different ways to use the pieces in your digital kits. Um, and you can come up with some really fun little pieces um, that maybe, you know, that wasn't what it was designed for, um, but it's perfect once it's done. I love it. All right, guys, please go and check out all of the links in the description box for Victoria Designs. Um, and I want to say a huge thank you to them for um, contacting me and, and asking if I would like to collaborate. Um, it was truly an honor. Um, and I, I've enjoyed this quite a lot. And you know, just be on the lookout because I will be making a full journal with this botanical um, kit and um, that will be, I'll do a flip through of that when I'm finished. So keep an eye out um, and you know, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around. Um, I will be doing um, some more projects for Victoria Designs this month and I have a few other things um, to share with you as well. All right, I hope you have a fabulous day. Uh, take care of yourselves, um, stay safe and stay healthy, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.